Hello, you are watching the Get About Dad. And Charlie. Here we are at the Western Camp. We're gonna stay here while we go to Energylandia. Let's see what we think. Let's go to reception. This is a train that takes you to and from Energylandia. It's a little like kiddie train that you'd see at fun fairs. Lovely reception area. Western Camp Resort. Beautiful area. We're just on a walk around to our house. Obviously all themed to the Wild West. Is our chalet coming up, our, our camp, our sheriff's house, and say yee-haw. Yee so as you arrive, there's a massive rug on the floor. This rug is a pain. We've been tripping over it so often. So we rolled it up on the first day and we rolled it down just so we can show you this on video. There's a sturdy table and chairs, solid wood. You're not gonna break those no matter how fat you are. Trust me, I've tried. You'll get some instructions on how to use the heating and or air conditioning. You'll get some water, some tea, some coffee and some sugars. Be warned, there's no cream and there's no milk. So you may wanna pinch some when you go for breakfast and a kettle. Then on the wall we've got a TV and above that we've got the heating and air conditioning unit. You get a fridge which is a fairly decent size. We tend to store our drinks here before a day at the park. And you get quite a bit of storage space. We tended to put our suitcases on that chair over there. You get a wardrobe which again is fairly substantial. Not many hangers though. In common with most places, you don't get many hangers, but you can hang two or three things on one, I suppose, if you really need to. Make sure you slide that back at the night. It stops this door banging into this one, which is, I'm assuming, what happened there a couple of times. These lights are lovely. They're a bit steampunky. With a bit um, of a Wild West theme with that thick rope and the log. And there I believe it's a skunk skin. So we've actually got a skunk skin. Because who doesn't want a skunk skin above the bathroom door? Come into the toilet with me. This is what a um, sheriff house bathroom looks like in the Western camp. It's still got those very steampunky type lights. Really, really love those. It's got a rather fancy towel holder. Some nice fluffy towels. We've got a, um, a soap dispenser. They give you shampoo and shower gel. I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. This is some of our general rubbish. Obviously a sink, a hair dryer, which I've not used, and a shower. Now when we first arrived, our shower actually wasn't giving us any hot water at all. It was freezing cold. We popped to reception, and to be fair, they had it sorted within five, 10 minutes. Someone came round. I suspect it wasn't switched on. We were here at the beginning of the season, so I suspect it wasn't switched on um, because it didn't come into the room to sort it. He sorted it from somewhere else and then just came along and told us it was working. But that is the bathroom. As you can see, it's rather a nice space. I don't know if you noticed before, we had some maps from the park. Uh, Energylandia theme park, that's why we're here. I think that's why the majority of people stay here because it's linked to the theme park. Just to make sure we have good luck, pointing upwards to keep the luck in. We have a nice buffalo skull. I'm assuming it's fake. I'm hoping it's fake. We've got an air conditioning unit. Bedside table. We've got a picture of cowboys lassoing horses. More of those lights that I'm very, very keen on. A large comfortable double bed. This has been my bed for our duration. It is incredibly comfortable. I've slept really well. Apart from one thing. But you see this tiny green light? That is annoying ass. That is so annoying. That stays on all night. I'm assuming it's some type of emergency detector. And it does give you quite a bit of light. It gives more light than you would think. So that's been a bit of a pain. It looks like nothing on screen. A lovely window. You do get a radiator. It's been a bit cool. The radiator is on. The windows open 
you get a lovely view outside your window there's our very own Christmas trees then we've got bunk beds so Charlie's been sleeping on the top bed what do you think Charlie? Yeah. why is it very comfortable? very comfortable? had a good sleep? yeah is it soft or firm? quite soft quite soft so Charlie's enjoyed sleeping in that bed I mean it is a lovely lovely room don't get me wrong it's been a great room what we did notice is that housekeeping don't come round so when I googled it online there was nothing on their website about housekeeping but another website did say you need to request it so I went to request it yesterday for today uh, they, all they did was empty the bins replenish the soaps and shampoos and replenish the tea and coffee gave us a couple more towels they didn't make the beds i would have thought at least making the beds we paid nearly 500 pounds for three nights i would think a fresh change of bed clothes would be included in that price maybe you think i'm being too optimistic let me know in the comments below if you don't agree with me should i not be expecting my bedding to be changed i really think i should so in a nutshell that is our room got any comments pop them down below it's a really really nice living space thoroughly enjoyed our time and i'll come and stay here again the surrounding area is absolutely beautiful it's like a wild west theme this is the side of our little cabin our house the trees are absolutely lovely the setting and the theming is absolutely amazing there's not that many of these to be fair there are some bigger ones which house six we're in a room for four as you come down towards the lake there's a children's park up in the evening around eight o'clock they play movies and the movies take place in this area here now it's been quite cool while we've been here we're here in april and they've still been playing the movies my daughter came last night she said she was the only one here and they give you blankets there are deck chairs and blankets so that's quite a nice experience so you have some free time in the evening and you come to a lake an absolutely massive lake there's the surrounding regions it's all beautiful if you notice the gardens are absolutely lush people come round and tend to these gardens almost constantly when we came for breakfast yesterday there was someone on her hands and knees pulling out every single weed playground more sheriff houses Each little road has a separate name. Currently on Sparks Alley. They have a few shops along the way. Not many have been open at the moment. But as you can see, these are the type of things they sell. Anyone for a drinky? Ooh, who doesn't love a little drinky? They have a sauna. Fortunately, I can't read the rules. They're not in English. They've got a swimming pool. Not open at this time of year. These totem poles. Plentiful. Quite a nice little seating area with a fire in the centre where you can buy some marshmallows or bring some marshmallows of your own. You can purchase them in the shops. They give you some logs. I'll show you the logs in a second. And you can build your own fire. Sit there every evening by your fire, toasting your marshmallows. What a marvellous idea. Such a lovely, lovely idea you can't see it at the moment you see that black bit at the bottom of the pool you can actually see into the pool when it's lit up you can see right through so you can see everyone's feet not that i'm sure you really want to see everyone's feet here are more places to sit you've got your fire your grill put some matches in put some logs in rather light it and then you can change the height of your grill to match your needs there you go there's the logs help yourself uh, obviously swimming is prohibited the totem house which is a bar massive skull i think it's safe to say that's fake i'm assuming they're all fake to be fair so we're about halfway round from where the houses are, from where the camp is. We have another um, children's play area, little park. It's quite early in the morning today, it's about half past seven. The sun is absolutely glorious, I'm hoping this remains. 
We fly home today, I've heard reports that we're going to have thunder and lightning. So he isn't very happy at all, but to be fair, she never is. And here we come to the camp restaurant. As I say, we've come at a quiet time of the year, so it's never been very busy at all. Service has been great. Absolutely no complaints at all. Oh, apart from the orange machine wasn't working yesterday, so I was gutted. Absolutely gutted. I'm hoping it's on today. Plenty of places for outdoor seating. It's not perhaps quite the weather for it just yet. And this is where we always go wrong. We always go in by the bar. We shouldn't be going in by the bar. We should be turning left to go to the Bonanza restaurant. Let's go in. So the breakfast is very, very impressive. We have yogurts and fruit. Lots and lots of different cereals. We've got some flan cake type things. Not quite sure what they're called. We've got your milks, cutlery, tea in your coffee machines, and then some fruit juice machines. Do yourself a favour while you're here and try the strawberry and cherry drink. The disco is included with every drink. But this tastes absolutely gorgeous. So that's one half. Come and join me for the second half. The bacon is always really fatty, so I'll try and put around for a piece that's not too bad. I'm not keen on bacon fat. Charlie loves bacon fat, so I'll give my fat to him. Few baked beans. Could I have a side of waffle? Yeah, I think I'll have a side of waffle. And with my waffle, I'm gonna have some chocolate. I'm not really taking some of these back to the room. Promise. They had some lovely buns yesterday, which we've not got. I'm gonna try a piece of this brown bread. That was breakfast. What did we think? It was yummy licious. Yummy licious. There were so many cool options that you could try. And on the first two days, um, there were mini waffles like these to have at Burger King. They mini were, pancakes. Yeah, mini pancakes. Yeah. They were delicious. So we're just coming out of the restaurant. I'll turn you around. The weather's sort of dipped while we've had breakfast because it was lovely and sunny when we went in. It's a bit smoggy and cool now. I'm going to take you on a, a wander around. We've actually never been over this part, although we can see it from a distance over there. But we know that on the Golden Wharf, this is where they keep their wagons. So you can stay in these two. Obviously I can't show you inside because I'm not staying in one. Um, I'd love to know what they like inside. Have you stayed in one? Drop me something in the comments, let me know. But what they've not got are toilets and showers. So yeah, I know you have to come out and use the toilets and the showers here if you wish to use the toilet and you're staying in one of these wagons. Would you like to stay in one of them, Charlie? Probably not. Why not? Uh, I thought you'd love the adventure. The toilet situation. Yeah, I'm an old man. I do get up in the night. This would be a nightmare. I'd probably fall down some steps and break my neck. There are lots and lots of these. They're quite close together. And I'm assuming they're not soundproof. As you can see, wagons as far as the eye can see. It's quite a nice idea to be young and adventurous. I'm neither. I like a bit of luxury. Just notice they're not actually on those wheels, can you see? There's a metal support holding them up. See that metal support? It's not really on the wheels. But coming up, another small pond, yet again, swimming is prohibited. Not really surprising, it doesn't look the cleanest. Shamanic stream. 
We have teepees. Would you like to stay in a teepee? No, that one look, does look a bit better. Do you think that'd be good? Yeah, I don't think you'd have a toilet like, but... I'd, yeah, I don't think these have got toilets either, I would imagine. I think they'd have to use the toilet block that we've just passed. Would you like to stay in a teepee? Let me know in the comments below. I know I wouldn't. I do like, I do like some comfort. I think maybe 30 years ago I would have been a bit more interested. But now I'm old. Nah, give me comfort any day. So there are the teepees, the wagons, there's a totem pole in the middle of the lake which I've only just spotted. And here's somewhere you can come and have a sit down after a long day at any Gilandia park. Or wherever you happen to be in Zaytor, you can come and have a nice swing. More teepees, teepees galore. I'm assuming these to hang your clothes on. I'm not sure, but that's my guess. These teepees are actually quite large. And again, I assume they have heating and um, air conditioning. Because if you see that brown box, it's got some type of unit in it. And we are back at the Sheriff Houses. Eight and seven is a small one. I say small, four people, same as mine. Plenty of room. Here's one of the bigger ones that sleep six. Upstairs and a downstairs. So what did you think of the Western Camp? It was brilliant. It was an amazing stay. Very, very comfortable, lovely surroundings. What do you think of breakfast? Breakfast was yummy. Morning. An ideal place to stay for Energylandia. Morning. They give you a little train which takes you to and from. So recommended by me. Recommended by me. Score out a 10. 10. And a 10 from me. Bye for now.